what's going on guys? At this point you may be wondering, why is Rafe sitting next to a toilet? Why is his camera set up in the bathroom with the toilet being featured? So a couple months ago with the toilet paper crisis, I began to ask myself, okay, how do I become more self-sufficient and not just become, you know, a victim to all these shortages and things that are happening all around us constantly and that are, as our lives are changing because of this pandemic and stuff that's going on. And for me, the easy response to, you know, not being sure of whether I'm gonna, there's gonna be enough toilet paper. And instead of having to let that be an anxiety for me, I was trying to think of solutions and I thought, well, why don't I just get a bidet? Cause that would kind of solve the problem of 90% of toilet paper use would be to have a bidet. And then you just use a little bit of paper to basically pat yourself dry instead of using it to clean yourself. And using actual water is a lot more effective in cleaning yourself down there than dry paper. It doesn't even make sense, right? So I've been waiting to get my bidet and I got it here. Finally, it came in the mail and I thought, why not share <laughs> my attempt at trying to set up this thing. I hope it'll be easy and quick and simple, but I have no idea and I don't, I'm not used to doing stuff like this. So we're just gonna kind of have to see how it goes. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. All right. Here is the actual bidet piece that's gonna go on the toilet here. Pipe, attachments, instructions. Okay, so let me start by taking off this toilet seat cover. I think this is here, oh yeah. Lift those guys off. Um, and then, oh yeah, that just snaps right off. Super easy. And then how does this, okay, so I'm gonna have to unscrew these, put them back over this, and that'll be good. Cool. Hey, got that off, pretty easy. Put this guy on here. Okay, we gotta align these, Put this, the holes. I like to bring this as close to the bowl as possible. I think that should be good right there. Now put this back on. You hide your face, but yours are pretty. I think that's pretty straight. And now I shall tighten. See how this works with this. Okay, works pretty good. I mean, aesthetically, it looks good, but I feel like this is the easy part. <laughs> okay, that's in. Controls, this is the angle of the nozzle. And now, the tricky part. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous about this. Okay, directions. All right, here we go, directiones. Turn off water valve. If the valve is tight, there may be some mineral buildup. This way? I don't know which way's off. Okay, hopefully that's the right way. I don't know. Is there no sign on it? Okay, the direction says to go clockwise to make it go off. Flush your toilet to drain the tank completely. Hold down that flusher until the tank empties nearly completely. A couple inches of water at the bottom of the tank is okay though. Flush all the water out. I'm not refilling with water, so that must mean that the water is off. Woohoo! Next, remove toilet seat. Oh, I already did that. I have a problem with just reading all the instructions first. I just tend to jump in, which is silly. But here we are. Disconnect the existing flexible hose from your toilet tank by turning it counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Looks like I might need a tool for that, which will be this bad boy. Counterclockwise. Is that gonna fit in there? Maybe not. Maybe I have to use this one. Pliers? Or just a towel? Counterclockwise. Okay, that is removed, as you can see. And now, Attach the flexible hose to the bottom of the mega adapter. This is the piece that they're talking about right now. It's got a little washer ring on it. Got it, got it. Now I gotta attach this to this bad boy. Very good. Got that on there. Attach the flexible steel hose. Steel hose. 
to the mega adapter side connection. Use a wrench to tighten if necessary, but don't remember, don't over tighten. How do I know if I'm over tightening? Okay, that seems nice and tight. Yeah, nice and tight. Um, hand tighten the other end of the flexible steel hose to the connection. Use a wrench to tighten if necessary. Okay. Attaching it to the bidet now. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I attach it to the toilet. Okay, here goes, last step. Okay, a little tighter. Let's turn the water on. Hopefully it doesn't leak everywhere. Ooh! Oh, look at that! It's alive! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's working! Okay, cool. There's no leakage in the toilet bowl. Now, I want to test it, but I don't know how to test it <laughs> without spraying my face with water or getting it everywhere. Hmm. I need a shield of some sort. Maybe just this... Oh, Duke! Duke just farted. You just farted! Buddy, I'm recording a vlog. Have you no respect? Let's see. I'm gonna hold this towel up. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to bum wash. There's an option for bum wash. We're gonna try it out. Ah! It works! It works! It works! Clean butts for everyone. And then there's an option to wash the nozzle, which works too, I guess in case there's like doo-doo that gets on the nozzle because you had an explosive poo. It just washes itself. Amazing. Yes! Yay! How cool is that? Voila! Yeah, that's it, I guess. Because I'm not going to show you actually using it. That's awkward. So I guess I want to sum this up by saying that there are a lot of things that are changing right now in the world and a lot of things that are excuse me, and a lot of things that could potentially make our lives a lot more stressful and difficult, but now is the time to get creative. Now is the time to reevaluate what we have deemed as normal and necessary in our lives. And so when you are presented with situ situations or problems, like for example, toilet paper scarcity and shortages and hoarding, for me, like obvious solution was to try to find a way to not be dependent on toilet paper. So that made me think of a bidet. I ordered a bidet, here it is. I installed it, it was that easy as you guys could see. And now I have a, a solution that's gonna wipe out 90% of my need for toilet paper. Um, and I encourage you guys to do the same. And if you think, you know, if you're able to invest in something like a bidet and you can attach it really easily like that, then, then do it, why not? Instead of having to stress about whether you're gonna have toilet paper at the end of the day. And that's also why I created a vertical herb garden by my kitchen. I posted that on Instagram and my stories and stuff, so some of you saw that. But that was just another way of me saying, hey, you know, there's food shortages. Why not try to make even tiny steps to mitigate that by having my own herb garden that I can pull from and use in my cooking now that I'm cooking at home more. And on top of that, it's fun to take care of plants and it also elevates my mood and the energy in my home just to have living plants around. So it's also like good psychologically. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick around, I'll have more content for you as always and stay safe, stay healthy and stay solution oriented. Peace guys, cheers.